Hey guys, you're here, back with another video, and finally with my follow-up to the Digimon Try 6 movie. So, it's been a while, uh, it is August right now, and uh, I did finish it quite some time ago, I just haven't actually gotten around to making this video. Uh, so I wrote my thoughts down, it was late June, mid-June or something like that, late June that I kind of last edited the, my little notes here about it. So, I might as well have made the video <laughs> now. So, my final thoughts on Digimon Try. Spoiler alert, by the way, and, and also, if you haven't seen my first video, definitely check that out. I highly recommend it to get more context of why my arguments are the way they are. Anyway, so, predictability. Definitely was, predict definitely was predictable, unfortunately for them. I also don't want to be right, but I kind of was, unfortunately. But they set themselves up to be, though. That's just the thing, right? So... Who saves the day? Was it the O2 cast? No, it was not. It was it was still May. More on that later. So, let's go in chronological order a little bit here. The first episode was bad. Because it's supposed to be a whole movie, right? But the format they released internationally was, let's put it into four or five chunks. Well, they decided this one, let's do five chunks. And the first 20 minutes, basically, was everyone moping around... Oh no, Ty's dead. What will we do? Oh, we got danger. The world's going to be destroyed. Ty's not here. But like, if that was one fifth of a film, of a whole, I think it was, yeah, five, yeah, it is basically a whole hour and a half film, an hour and 40 minutes. Yeah, hour and 40 minute film. That's fine. It's only 20 minutes. But because they dedicated basically that to a whole episode of, of sorts, you get a filler. That's it. That's, again, why an issue, why they, they shouldn't have released it in an episode format. It doesn't make sense. They meant it to be a movie, then keep it as a movie. It doesn't make sense that they split it up. I still am very angry about that. One, I guess, editing or writing error I wanted to point out, too. I, I'm no film critic or, you know, connoisseur of sorts. But uh, they had a scene, so they had a scene where Ty and his professor, or, or his, his teacher, got stuck in the digital world. He's injured. Ty's not. Um, and they have only one escape pod, and they have the O2 caster. They found the O2 cast. They're trapped. They couldn't do anything. They, they have no participation points. Okay, fine. So, they're like, hey, only one way to escape. Ha ha, I got you guys now. <laughs> says Jedi. I don't even know if that's really Jedi. I'm still really confused about who that really is. It doesn't feel like Jedi. Then they're like, well, what do we do now? Hey, Ty, why don't you look at one of those escape pods and see what might be wrong? Maybe we can figure something out. Sure! Ty, why don't you just step into that escape pod? Wait, Sensei! Why are you doing this? Oh! Oh my god. I felt like they're just trying to lead, like slowly lead. Come on, audience. You you know what's up, right? Come on, come on. Like, yes! You know what's up. Why why, why didn't it would have been much more impactful if it was more of a surprise? I saw it coming. No. Stop. And later on, they uh, find out that, oh, Ty's back. Everything's good, right? But it wasn't a surprise because we knew he escaped. Like, if they swapped that somehow, they, they um, like, went to the scene where Ty appears, right? Boom! He's back! What? What happened? How did this happen, right? And then they jump back using some kind of, like, flashback, like, a little bit what happened. I think that could happen a lot more. But no, they had to dedicate a whole scene, and then they did it in a chronological order, instead of, you know, jumping that and jumping back, and then back again to the present time. That would have, I think, made a much more impactful way of editing that or, or writing that. Another thing that I felt really lazy, and I think was just for the sake of padding time, was, so, the giant Digimon they faced at the end was a fusion between Meikumon and, I can't remember, Tailmon, Gautamon's, like, final form, I don't remember what the name was, Seraphmon, I think it was, no, maybe not. Anyways, that, so, it's a Mega Digimon fused with some other smaller form, but then it's still more powerful, most, most of the time when they fuse, they're stronger, right? So, it didn't make sense that all of them were using their ultimate forms. There's a Mega Digimon, dig, di, sorry, there's a Mega Digimon, and they know that. 
because it is Kari's personal Digimon that is evolved to that. They know it's the Omega form, and yet they all choose the ultimate forms just to fight. Oh no, we can't fight it. It's too powerful. Evolve in your Mega forms. Then we can probably do something about it. Like, oh man, they made our characters so stupid. They know things. Their younger selves, I bet, were smarter than this. They're in high school right now. It doesn't make sense. Ugh. Oh. And the, the ending was so much worse than I thought. So, May saved the world. Do you know how? Did she, like, suddenly have some power to purify Meikuman and then save the world by defeating Jedi or whatever thing he did or just feeding all the, po the Pokemon? I've played a lot of Pokemon lately, Digi Pokemon Go. But they defeat the, 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 the other Digimon that invaded Earth. Is that, was that the plan? No! No, it wasn't. Because, oh no, Izzy, what do we do? Oh, we need to get access Meikuman's code somehow. What? Izzy? I know you're a genius, but can can someone explain how he just got into the code? He learned all about Digimon he, that much, and he didn't tell us. Okay, cool. Fine, fine. But we need a password to get in. May, what could you have taught her? That could save the day right now. What one word that was so important. Thank you. That's it. That's the phrase that saved the world. She entered it. given. Oh yeah, sure. It was a it was a dialect that maybe we don't know. I don't know the dialect. But just thank you was what saved the world. Are you kidding me? Um everything. Any important word I thought something like. Something much, much deeper than, oh, it's the first word she taught me. Ooh, like, mm, she saved the world, why? And you know what? Technically, she didn't even save the world. Guess who had to swoop in and save the world again? I told you Ty came back, right? Ty was like, oh, yeah, Ty's back. Ooh. Ty and Matt, guess what they did? Oh, they got, they got Omnimon. Oh, wait, no, they can't just have Omnimon. They need his paladin mode or whatever super mode they got from paladin mode, whatever magnum. I can't remember right now. I don't care right now. I'm so angry. <laughs> like they, they just yep. Yeah, Omnimon saved the day again. Yay! Everything's good. Everything's cool. And then Jedi escapes saying, "Hey, hint, hint, sequel. Hint, hint. I don't want to throw my money. Like, I'll probably watch it though, but pro I won't pay for it. Like I have it." Like I have, sorry. I have not paid for it. Still won't. Get God. Um, but yeah. And then what angers me even more, because this is kind of a retcon of sorts of the whole ending of the second movie. Like, they still kind of continue on. Everything like that. Everything seems fine. Sora and Matt together. Uh, and Ty definitely switched his interest into diplomacy of some sort. Is he still doing Digimon research? But guess what? They they I'm I'm sure you if you've watched the movies and I have, definitely, um, there were huge hints of a nice ship that they want to sail. I didn't want any of that. But no, at the end they had a hard ship tie in me. Like, I gotta call her. I'm so nervous. Blush. Ooh. Like Oh man. I can't believe they shipped those two. What? What? Why May? She? I don't. She? I'm sorry. She doesn't deserve anything. She's done nothing to redeem or earn anything. She's still shy. She's still weak. She didn't really save the day at all. All she did was type little words in the keyboard. Oh boy! Like she has not changed as a character at all. And I'm so angry. Like. I get, oh, what if they just wrote that in there just so that the Thai fans are happy because he didn't have anyone at the end. Well, guess what? She sucks. May sucks. Thai Sora. Cool. I am cool with that. Mad Sora. I'm cool with that. Thai May. No, 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 no. No. She's useless. She's stupid. Doesn't deserve anything. I am serious. Like, they, they, they... I could write off this whole movie series as just some kind of, like, filler retcon just to make some extra money. That's what I'm writing off as, honestly. Like, they could have done so much better to celebrate the anniversary of the Digimon series. I just can't deal with it. I just, I don't understand why it was such a good idea for them. 
I, I, I should stop. I'm going to ramble on. This is where I should end the video. Like, basically, summarize final thoughts. Um, what I predicted came true, sadly for me. Um, what I didn't like about what they did with the first five movies, they did. And May X Ty, to me, will never be a thing. That ship, I will sink every time I can. Thank you guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed my angry rantings about the final six movie of the Digimon Tri series, which I definitely won't buy the Blu-ray for. <clears throat> uh, yeah. And if you haven't seen uh, my last video, actually the uh, Digimon Tri video that uh, comes before this, click it over here. And if you want to see my other vloggy stuff here, I put whatever, I don't remember what. Uh, subscribe to the channel, leave a like, share this with other people who share anger uh, as the same as I do. And I'll see you guys next video.